Or joining me live right now is Dr. Joe Congeni, great friend of mine through the years, Akron Children's Hospital Sports Medicine Center. And Joe, <laughs> going down the sports road, Ohio State is in to the Final Four. The Buckeye football team rammed the ball down their throats, Northwestern's throats, in the second half and getting that win. And part of the reason they did that was, one, Northwestern's pass defense, and two, Justin Fields, and it finds out what? Sprained thumb in that contest, huh? Yeah, he had a sprained thumb, and I <clears throat> have gotten the opportunity to go back and see the play that had happened on over by the sidelines against the um, the down marker. He actually, as he said, his thumb bent backwards. He gave really some pretty um, – detailed answers to questions in the press conference after the game. And, of course, um, the concern and anxiety amongst Ohio State fans, Buckeye fans throughout the state is um, is palpable because he is really a key. I mean, the season really was shortened and all the other issues that came up, but it really comes down to a two-game season. And, um the coach at Clemson's doing everything he can to get Ohio State fired up. Uh, I think uh, Davo is for the big game coming up next week. But uh, the real key is going to be how is Justin Fields' thumb. And according to the press conference this week, it sounds like maybe uh, the Buckeyes averted a little bit of a uh, you know significant disaster, really, with a significant sprained thumb. But it's a real common sport injury, and we see it, of course, at all levels of play. And when that thumb gets bent backwards further than it should, it's ligaments on either side of the base of the thumb that hold the thumb together, and the ligaments get stretched, grade one, they get partial tear, grade two, or a complete tear, grade three. You've heard us go through the grading of ligament injuries and other parts of the body, too. Um, but he said in the press conference after the game that he had swelling, he had inability to squeeze the ball. He said he went to his coach and said, man, I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to throw. And I think exactly as you said in the lead-in, I think Ohio State only threw the ball two more times from then on. And thankfully, the running game was working so well, they didn't need to throw. But, of course, in big games coming up, throwing the football is going to be very important. But probably, Ray, the most important thing is he talks about swelling and inability to grip the ball fully. He probably had a little bit of a grade two sprain uh, with some swelling, some tearing of that ligament. But uh, the, the best thing going is the 12 days off in between. Had this been followed up one week later, seven days later, or in our basketball players or other ball handling sports, three or four days later when you're playing more than a game a week, it's really hard to get that thing a chance to heal all the way.